Welcome to Pedo Teeth Talk, brought to you by the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, a podcast show that delivers cutting-edge ideas for the professionals specializing in pediatric dentistry. Thank you for tuning in to Pedo Teeth Talk, where we bring you the contemporary issues important to you and your practice, brought to you by the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. I'm your host, Joel Berg. Thank you to our Pedo Teeth Talk sponsor, Hugh Freedy, for helping us bring you great content. We couldn't do this without them. Visit them at www.hughfreedy.com. That's H-U-F-R-I-E-D-Y dot com. We are here today with Brett Williams, co-founder and president of Me in 3. Brett is a software solutions executive. He is a technology solutions executive with over 25 years of experience in starting companies, managing teams, implementing solutions, leading organizations, and getting projects and organizations started from the ground up. He is a serial entrepreneur who loves the challenge of turning ideas into products and solutions. Brett has led teams responsible for the creation, sales, marketing, and deployment of technology solutions in the retail, energy, commercial real estate, transportation, utilities, and other vertical markets. Brett has specialized in helping companies solve problems and implement technology solutions that increase productivity, lower cost, and break down productivity roadblocks. Over the past 15 plus years, his practical experience has been in the area of mobile and web-based software solutions. Brett is currently a co-founder and president of MeIn3, a video-based applicant screening platform for job seekers and hiring managers. Brett, thank you for being with us today on Pedo Teeth Talk. Dr. Berg, thank you so much for the opportunity to be on the program. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're excited too because you and I were talking about the crisis that we're having in finding dental assistance. It really has become a crisis across the country for our practices. I know stories of people have struggled to keep their schedules full because they can't get dental assistance. And then you mentioned to me that this crisis is across industries. However, you've created this solution, Me in Three, which I wanted, I was excited to get you on Pedo Teeth Talk because I think this is a solution that could help us big time in dentistry. So uh, to get to get us started, tell us about yourself briefly, your background and business that I just referred to, and then we'll talk about me and three. Sure. Uh, so I, as you mentioned, I'm kind of a serial entrepreneur. I uh, started my career in sales and marketing. Um, I've been involved involved in sales, marketing, and management in the technology world for now. It's over 25 years. Um, I've been a part of a lot of teams that have started companies um, and me and three is another example of those because my background has really been in an experience has been in building web and mobile applications for a number of years. Personally, I uh, love tennis. I started playing tennis about uh, six years ago when my wife and I became uh, empty nesters. So that's kind of the, what I do in my free time. That's wonderful. Well, we'll, we'll talk about tennis in another podcast. But <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm a frustrated uh, tennis player, so I admire people who do that. What, what prompted you to create Me in 3? What was the motivation to create this very interesting company? Well, the, the idea really came from one of my co-founders uh, a few years ago. He was um, in the process of hiring a sales manager for his um, small business. And he went through the normal process of posting the job on Indeed, um, getting resumes that were sent in, and reviewing those resumes and looked at individuals that looked great on paper. And whenever he invited them in for an interview, he realized probably two minutes into the conversation that it just wasn't going to be a fit for whatever reason. Um, and he thought there has to be a better way to do this. Um, I'd love to get a, a glimpse into the individual's personality, their passion, their drive, their communication skills. And that's really what started the, the me and three process. Um, he and I met and he told me about um, his idea and and with my background in technology, we set out to, to start building the, the Me and 3 platform. So, so what is Me and 3 for our audience? Yeah, so Me and 3 is a video-based screening platform for both job seekers and hiring managers to connect. And so, you know, video is such a, an enormous part of our lives these days. Uh, in so many areas and so many ways, we just needed to build a, or wanted to build a platform that allowed individuals to present themselves using video whenever they're going through the hiring process. 
Um, you know, we've all heard so many people say, if I could just get an interview, if I could just get to meet the hiring manager. Um, that was one of the, the ideas behind me and three was to give people the ability to do that. And then um, the, the other part of me and three is as a hiring manager, I can um, post a job. I can view candidates as they come in. And it's, it's not just about the video. So when people apply to a job on me and three on the platform, they're able to upload their resume. Um, they have a summary of skills, education, and experience. But as a hiring manager, I can go to my dashboard and see candidates as they come in and apply for a job. And I can review those profiles and then I can do a thumbs up or thumbs down whether or not I want to bring them into um, for an interview, for a more detailed interview. Yeah. And I think of there are many professions this is in particular suited for and, and those that encounter that are the consumer facing businesses, you know, uh, talking to patients in our case where Absolutely. that skill is so important and a resume just doesn't show that. So that's what it, that's what intrigued me about how this could benefit uh, us in dentistry. Absolutely. You know, when we first um, built the platform, we assumed that the majority of companies that would use our platform would be to hire for customer facing roles, whether that's customer service, sales, retail, hospitality, um, we found that, that that is absolutely true, but also um, other people, technical people, um, are still interested in seeing and hearing the individuals they're, they're interviewing because they become part of their organization, they become part of their team, and they need to work well with the others. Um, but dentistry is a perfect example where, you know, as you and I were talking in the past, um, many of the technical skills that are part of a job can be taught. But what is very difficult to teach is those people skills, right? The, the soft skills that go along with it. And it's, it's critical in, a, in an industry like dentistry. I, I can't tell you how many times my, I and my colleagues have, you were out to, out to eat at dinner and we have a waiter or waitress uh, who serves us and we say to each other, man, he or she, she'd be a great dental assistant because I can tell you right away, they'd be great in my practice because that's, you, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. That's Absolutely. one of my favorite lines. And, you know, she made a first impression on me, which is indelible. And that and she's going to make that same first impression on all the patients of my practice. Absolutely. And, yeah. So I think the, the idea of the video is just ideal. So have you been in the jobs business before? Um, great question. So I, I think any manager is in the jobs business, right? So any of us that have hired um, any individual is in the jobs business. And of course, um, you know, as someone who's applied for jobs in the past, I was frustrated with the process. As someone who has hired, I've been frustrated with the traditional process that we have. Um, you know, it's funny because one of the, the things when I first heard about this idea, um, I used to be a sales manager in the office equipment industry. So my, the company I worked for sold copiers and fax and laser printers and those kinds of things. So I, I did a, a have hired hundreds of people over the years. Um, and what I always thought about was whenever I would get a stack of resumes in and I would sort through those into the yes, no, maybe um, piles. I, there, I had the same experience that my co-founder had where I invited people in that um, I knew it wasn't a fit right away, but there were so many people that were probably in that no stack because they didn't have a, a resume that was, you know, super great, or it didn't fit the thing that I was looking for. Um, but they didn't get an opportunity for an interview because of that resume. And, and that's right. what I always thought about. So from the, the jobs business, that was something that was always on my mind. And, you know, a perfect example in, in, in the dentistry industry is um, the same thing. If someone doesn't have that on their resume, but as you mentioned, their personality, their people skills might make an amazing assistant. Um, that person should get an opportunity. So I, I think anyone who's who's hired is in the jobs business. But technically, yes. no, I've, I've no. not um, created any applications or or really been in in the HR world before. Yeah, and and I think if you ask most of us in practice, even the ones who have an affinity for practice management, which many don't, they might say that our least favorite part is is hiring because, because yeah. of the challenges and you've removed a stumbling block. I, I'm actually excited to continue this conversation uh, because 
there's so much we could benefit as an organization, the Academy of Pediatric Dentistry as individuals. So we'll definitely be talking more about that. We will now pause for a word from our sponsor. Hugh Freedy is the global leader in dental instrument manufacturing and infection prevention solutions that keep you performing at your best. For more information on Hugh Freedy products, visit hughfreedy.com slash AAPD crowns. That's hugh freedycom slash AAPD crowns. And enter the promo code 2682 if placing an order for Pedo Crowns. We are back with Brett Williams, the president and co-founder of Me and Three. And we're talking about Me and Three, the website, the company. And please go to www.me-3.com. Uh, I think you'll see what we mean when we say this offers a really exciting opportunity toward a solution for us in the midst of this uh, hiring crisis. And I said dental assistants. I know that it's all team members, but it's particularly affecting the dental assisting hiring because there are more of them and there are more holes in the opportunities. So what distinguishes me and three, Brett, from other sites in the category, or is it unique? Are there no other products like this? Yeah, there, there are starting to be a few um, options that are similar to me and three that are coming out. But when we first um, you know, came up with the idea and, and the need for me and three, uh, we went out and did a lot of research to see if there were options out there. Um, we found that people were were creating a video about themselves, kind of a video introduction or video cover letter, putting it on YouTube and sending that with their resume or application when they applied for jobs. Um, there are also a number of um, companies that do video uh, interviewing and the video interviewing tools have been around for a few years but they're generally once you've gotten further down the process, the hiring process. And so where, where me and three comes in is, is it's video screening. What we do is we put the power into the hands of the people is what we like to say. So if you are applying for a job, you can say whatever you want on your video. You can talk about your, um, your personal um, life. You can talk about uh, the things that you've done. Um, so that's really one of the core things that sets me and three apart, um, because when you go into these video interviewing tools, the hiring manager is is basically giving you a list of questions. You have a limited amount of time to answer those questions. And and the power is kind of in the hands of the hiring manager The the unique thing about that. And one of the things that we've learned after we developed the platform that we had not really thought of is it gives individuals the ability to tell their story. And that's very different than the traditional interviewing technologies. And what I mean by that is that we have had people that have done videos that maybe they went to college for sales and marketing, um, but they want to do something different. Um, and, and they are wanting to make a change, but a hiring manager would look at a resume and say, well, this person's education is in X and they want to do Y. Why would I even consider them? The, the video allows them to tell that story. Um, mm -hmm. Another great example is in career change, which we're seeing a lot of these days. And, and I think is one of the, the important aspects of, of what we're talking about today is, is this crisis. Um, we're seeing a lot of people that because of the pandemic have either been laid off or they've had a realization that they don't like doing what they've been doing um, and, and things around there. And so the video gives them the ability to say, uh, and this is a true example, even though my resume says I have eight years of armed security guard service at a hospital, that's not what I want to be doing. What I really want to do is what I went to school for, which is an education in logistics and customer service. And therefore I'd like to get an interview. And, and that's a true story where a gentleman had that background, but he was applying for a job that they weren't going to give him an interview based on his resume. And he um, was able to get the interview based on that. Love it. I, you know, my favorite thing is just the name of the company you started, Me in Three, which tells the story that really it's an opportunity for the person to talk about themselves. The person, instead of being responsive to a box that's been set up by the company that says, you got to fit into this box, because that basically says maybe Absolutely. the box I created isn't the right box. Maybe there's somebody out there who actually is better and they're going to tell their story. So I get really excited when I think about the possibilities there. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, as, as someone who has um, been involved in a number of early stage companies, you know, one of the things I found is that hiring an ind individual um, because of their potential value to my organization versus filling a specific box or fit, fitting them in a specific box is, is, um, is, is extremely valuable. And, and I think me and three helps with that process. That's terrific. So tell us just briefly how me and three works and, and also how it's monetized. I think a lot of people have that question. Sure. Um, so the way it works is, is, um, there's two parts obviously. So one is for job seekers and one is for hiring managers. Um, for job seekers, it's free to use anytime they can go in, create an account, um, set up their profile. They can share that profile with, um, anyone that they are applying, um, to from a, a job perspective. They can easily click and share that on their social media link so they can put it on Facebook and LinkedIn and those types of things. Um, from a hiring manager's perspective, we have multiple levels. So uh, a small business, um, as I'm sure many of the practices that are part of this, this group are, um, you, you can go in and create a, an account as a hiring manager for free. And you can post a, a limited number of jobs for free. We have um, premium services that are available to, um, to individuals if there's, for instance, a hiring team. So maybe one person is responsible for doing the recruiting. Um, someone else is, is part of that hiring team. Well, there's a collaborative effort in the platform that can be done. And then we also have what we call our um, enterprise services. And that's where we really focused the company when we first started um, with small businesses in mind. Uh, we're having larger companies come to us and say, hey, this is great. We'd love to, to do more of this. So we're packaging services around that now. Um, that's kind of the, the way the monetization works and what the cost structure is. And, and all the pricing is on our website as well. It's wonderful. I, I love uh, the more I hear about it, the more I see it as a real solution. So, you know, in addition to we talked about this crisis in hiring and you mentioned similar things are happening across industries. What are some examples uh, besides dentistry, where you see me and three has already made a difference and is going to make even a bigger difference of you know, vertical markets. Yeah. So um, there are a number of vertical markets that were, that, that have been especially challenged with the pandemic. And, and it's interesting because we, we talk about the pandemic, but we also um, have to address the, the kind of ripple effects associated with that. Right. Um, if you think about, for instance, the, um, the restaurant industry was hit extremely hard by the pandemic um, and this ripple effect, effect that's um, come out. But, um, you know, what we found is that it, there are tons of industries where um, maybe a job market has changed or shifted or or even gone away. And me and three allows um, job seekers, for instance, to look at and and use their transferable skills. So transferable skills is something that we talk about a lot and it kind of goes back to what I was, I was saying before or, or the example you mentioned, um, a server at a restaurant has skills that they've developed for customer service, for communication, for um, basically a salesmanship that is transferable into numerous other industries. And, and what me and three helps do is it helps that person present it and it also helps the hiring manager see it right so that's an area that we've we've talked about a lot i wouldn't say that there are any specific um vertical industries where me and three is is stronger in than another but i think what we've done is we've helped um you know whenever we had a large numbers of unemployment um more people were applying for every job um those kinds of things triggered a, an opportunity for our platform that's actually helped us grow quite a bit. You know, reflecting on the dental business again, uh, some of my favorite and most successful uh, pediatric dentists started as dental assistants. Their entry level was a dental assistant. Really? And I know one particular case where it was my dental assistant who went on to become a dentist and then pediatric dentist. And, you know, what a skill to have, you know, there's, there, you can see why they'd be some of the best dentists with that chair side patient and, and, and hands experiences. 
So, you know, I think there's a real opportunity here as all of us are also interested in recruiting into the profession. Of course, our, our practice, most importantly, to help ourselves, but also to, to challenge the opportunity that you know, there's underrepresented communities that we're seeking to get into the profession. And Absolutely. maybe this is, this is the way to start. This is the pipeline, uh, getting dental assistants in, most of whom will remain as great dental assistants and many of whom will go into other bigger and better things for themselves. So I, I think it's a wonderful opportunity just to promote the profession and the great opportunities in dentistry. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we actually have the opportunity for um, a dental practice that is hiring to also create their profile, which they could then share with um, potential candidates in a, in a hiring process to um, allow the candidates to see what it's like to work for this practice, right? Um, so mm -hmm. it's it's a it's really a two way streak. You know, um, it, we think that our business is kind of like kind of like Uber, um, and not directly, but you, you know, there's two sides to it. There's job seekers and there's hiring managers. Without one, we couldn't have the other. Um, and so what what we see is that, as an example, in the dental industry is there are there's a great opportunity for the practice um, that they can show what it's like to work here and and what a career in dentistry looks like. Um, what does you know? We've we've worked with a couple of partners um, on creating videos where what does it what does a day in the life of a hygienist or assistant or even an office manager look like at, at our practice? So video is a great way to do that way to share that. Um, and so that's another big opportunity with our platform. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to be interviewing some other folks uh, towards this solution of uh, the problem being hiring staff to team members for the dental dental practices. And uh, I think there'll be other opportunities to partner this solution you've offered with dental assisting schools, with programs, training programs. I really see this as a gigantic growth uh, in that profession. Yeah, um, we have about a year ago, we started working with some uh, career services departments at universities. And what we found is, is this is one of the biggest opportunities, both for us, but also for the programs themselves, because um, more and more uh, universities, um, tech schools, training programs are having um, individuals graduate from their programs and how do they get their their presence out to potential hiring um, hiring managers. Um, we see that as really one of our biggest growth opportunities and one of uh, our passions, quite honestly, is to is to work with these the the dental assistant training programs, work with the career services, the the career development departments, um, to really work closely with the departments and and the individuals that run those um, the placement offices to help connect those students with the potential employers. Um, and it's, while I admit we have not done that with any dental assistant training program that I know of, um, we are doing it with a lot of career development and career services departments at universities. And I, I think it's a great opportunity for us to work with groups like that. Well, I think the Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, which has an interest in supporting the profession, improving health of children and and helping our members is, is going to be right there with you trying to make these connections. So I'm looking awesome. forward to that. I, I have one more question for you in our short time today, Brett, how do you measure success? You've done so many things in your career. Now me and three, how are you going to measure success of me and three? Well, um, you know, it's interesting because there's kind of two parts to this for us. Um, one is we're growing a business and we have, um, investors in our business and we have, um, founders in our business. And, and we obviously need to grow that from a, a financial um, perspective and, and want to do that. Um, but one of the, the core foundations of what we started doing is that we believe that the traditional hiring process um, is not a good one, um, that, that we're making decisions based on a piece of paper, which really just says what either where someone went to school and what classes they took and or what jobs they've had in the past. And that's not the way that we should be hiring individuals. So our mission is really to change the hiring process. And <laughs> as you can, can imagine, 
uh, making a change like that is an uphill battle. Um, it's, it's something that everyone talks about and that we've showed the program to, and, and they say, this is great. Um, but, but making that change is, um, is something that's taken a lot of work. And, and I think we will ultimately measure success whenever there are tens of thousands of people using a process like ours to get a job and to um, hire people because um, we just think it's a better, better way to do it. Yeah. And I think I'll add to your success by saying when it, we can see that it specifically has helped us solve our problem in our industry, that's how we're going to measure success along with you. So Brett, thank you so much for telling us about me and three. I urge everybody to go right now to M E I N number three.com learn more about it and uh, hope to have you back someday as we do measure success together. So thanks for being with us. Pedo teeth talk. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And thank you for tuning in to Pedo Teeth Talk, where we bring you the contemporary issues important to you in your practice. Brought to you by the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. We'll see you here next time. Do you need additional CE hours, but don't have time to travel to courses? Did you attend annual session and want to listen to the audio recordings? Check out AAPD's new Education Passport. The redesigned and improved Education Passport is AAPD's online learning center where you can earn CE and listen to audio recordings from all of our continuing education courses and more. Visit educationpassport.aapd.org for more information. For 10% off any product, use discount code TEETHTALK in the Education Passport store. Pedo Teeth Talk is brought to you by the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry the show that delivers cutting-edge ideas for the professional specializing in pediatric dentistry. If you have any questions or comments, please email info at aapd.org. We welcome your ideas for future shows and guests. For more information on the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, visit aapd.org.